It's Keenan Isley with Team K Square and Keller Williams, and we are here at Bobbleheads with Wine About Real Estate. I have Troy Wada with Impact Wealth and Josh Nisley. So, Josh, tell us about the wine. So, for this episode, we're going to try a Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, Scarlet Vine, which is from a winery in Chile. Um, should pair well with uh, beef and game, and we're going to give it a try. Cheers. Mm, another good bowl cab. Definitely some black fruit in there. Definitely getting the plum, Josh. Yeah, plum. Yeah. yeah, and it's oaky, and it is going to pair great with this grilled cheese sandwich because Bottleheads has the best grilled cheese sandwich on it's the, best. the island. So, Troy, we've been talking about Delaware Statutory Trust, or DSTs. What is the difference between a DST and a 1031 exchange? Great question. The 1031 exchange is internal revenue code that allows real estate investors to go from one investment property to another investment property. As mentioned by the IRS, it needs to be like-kind property or like-kind property. Simply put, it just means it has to go from investment to an investment and not to a primary residence. The DST is classified as lifetime property by the IRS when you do a 1031 exchange. So you need to do a 1031 exchange in order to exchange into a DST. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So wow, so you kind of work in partnership with the, the person that does 1031 exchanges, yeah. escrow, but and they're you, not, yes. <laughs> And but they're not having to buy another property. Correct. So it's perfect for tired landlords or exactly. if you inherited a property yep. that you, you used as an investment and you don't want to continue to be a landlord. To be a landlord. But there's also so many other benefits, you know, whether that's uh, restarting your depreciation schedule, uh, because no one really likes to pay more in taxes. The DST will allow you to restart the depreciation schedule. It's also a great estate planning tool for people that are looking to transition real estate to the next generation, because a DST is fractional ownership, it kind of avoids the problems that a lot of beneficiaries would have holding yes. property tenants in common because they don't have to all agree. Yes. All right, well, thank you so much. So again, this is Keenan Nisey, Team K-Square, and Keller Williams, and we're at Bottleheads with Wine About Real Estate, and we will see you next week.